Today we are playing a citizen scientist uh, with an experiment I started almost a year ago. I feel like someone's gonna make a meme out of this. I wanna wait to the I just wanna wait to the end for this one because this doesn't smell bad. Last year, right before the Indy 500, I wrote about um, balloon releases and how they were really controversial and how some environmental groups think that they are tantamount to littering and that got my readers super excited and engaged and they asked me a bunch of questions. One of them uh, was exactly how biodegradable are the balloons. With a tiny bit of sleuthing I found a photo that had uh, a few bags that actually identified uh, the brand of the balloons used in that year's balloon release and I stuck them in a bunch of jars and under some dirt and now they look a little bit different than they did a year ago. Oh this one's full of water. So these are two balloons that I, I submerged in salt water um, which is at the salinity of the ocean. They pretty much look the same. Um, they're still very very stretchy. This one I know I can still blow it up. So it really has not lost much in the way of being a balloon. So this is a balloon that was basically stuck on a stick. That stick was stuck on the ground and it stayed there for the entire 11 months of the experiment. This one was most exposed to weather throughout the year and you can see it's very torn up. You can see how the holes are forming as I stretch it. So that was a lot more successful, I think, in terms of it decomposing. This one was um, buried underneath a cold compost pile, which means it wasn't very big. I talked to a researcher from um, a university in Virginia. Uh, she said she was not surprised that this was a uh, more decomposed um, just because it had more access to bacteria. That's probably the best condition under which this would biodegrade, disintegrate into to smaller pieces and eventually into nothing. I also tried uh, to put some in, a, in an indoor planter it was a little bit unsuccessful because the soil wasn't that good, so it was pretty, pretty compacted, but it is very brittle. And this was, is fresh water with some dirt in it. But these two seem to sort of uh, be pretty intact. I'm not gonna blow this one up, because again, it smells terrible. But uh, yeah, so those seem to have just uh, done just as well as the saltwater ones. I think, in conclusion, uh, the assertion that these are biodegradable is correct. It uh, absolutely seems to have broken down um, in that compost heap, and um, I do wonder what would have happened in uh, with another year of this under that pile. But I do think that the critics of balloon releases in general are, are also have a point that it doesn't uh, biodegrade quite quickly enough not to be a danger to wildlife.